one for the entire Pally class of 2000. So, what can you say in a graduation speech? What is there left to say when the classes are over, when the final transcript reports are submitted, when you fake your last annotations, and when you've had your last argument with that substitute with a hilarious Eastern European accent? What is there left to say when, after all, high school is over? You can say what everyone else says at graduation, which is usually a model and recount of some memorable high school moments. They'll talk about various classroom experiences, or better yet, P.E. locker room experiences. They'll talk about the time the streakers tried to hug Yo Tom at the end of freshman year. Or, with our more recent streakers, when he, or she, no one can say for certain, ran into a pillar next to the library. I saw that. I personally could recount the time the crucial Tantry stripped off his shirt during AP English. Or the time I threatened to fight Mr. Barraquette after school, to which he responded in his sexy, suave Spanish accent, I do not fight, I only kill. <laughs> Most other speeches will give a proud commencement to the high school class to go out there and become responsible, successful young adults. They'll tell us to get into the real world and start living a real life, which of course means attending a four-year university, getting a well-paying job, and eventually raising a family in a two-story home with a white picket fence and a dog named Spot. At the end of high school, people inevitably start talking about this mysterious ether called the real world. But in all fairness to those speeches and those speakers, we have been living in a real world. We weren't just pretending to learn about the world around us. We weren't just pretending to discover new people, new things, and ourselves. We weren't just pretending to live in these past four years. High school was great, and sometimes it sucked, especially when my bike got stolen and whoever you are out there, I will find you. <laughs> when you look back on these four years, I hope you see something besides hours of tedious homework. I hope you see something besides four years of preparation to go to a four-year competitive college. I hope you don't remember your grade point average, weighted or otherwise, and I most certainly hope you don't remember your star test scores. When you look back on these four years, you should remember the time you spent with your friends pretending to do work. You should remember the beautiful days spent lounging around in the quad in the California sun. You should remember Spirit Week, or at least the streakers, and you should remember if you were so lucky, those great teachers that you had. Mr. Bungarden, if you're out there, I love you. <laughs> a wise man who did mock trial once told me, the future is no place to place your better days. This moment, right now, not college, not whatever you plan to do with the rest of your life, right now is a very rare moment when you have so much opportunity and so little responsibility. Enjoy this moment. Enjoy the future, and when you meet those seemingly impossible obstacles, Remember that Pally has prepared you, hopefully, and when that doesn't work, shrug it off and remember that you're better than that. High school might be over, but real life can wait. <laughs>